Christ. Amen. Mais alors, Jesus Christ, merci. Nous croyons à la présence de Dieu ce soir. We believe in the presence of the Lord this evening. Et la présence du Seigneur nous suffit. And the presence of the Lord is enough for us. Vous savez, lorsque Lazare était mort, no, when Lazarus died, il y avait des pleurs. There were people who were mourning. On a mis même Lazare dans la sépulture. They had even put Lazarus in the tomb. C'était le dead. That was the man. Il fallait que Jésus se présente. Uh, but he needed Jesus first to come in. Et lorsque Jésus se présenta, and when he came in, le dead était changé en fait. Just a man changed into feast. Et lorsque Jésus se présente, when Jesus first came in, même là où il y avait le pleur, even where there was crying, le pleur se changeront en fait. Let us get a scripture. Nous sommes dans le livre d'Agé, chapitre 2, le verset 9. Ok. Agé, chapitre 2. We are in the book of Haggai, chapter 2, verse 9. Tu lis directement l'anglais. Lis directement l'anglais. Be, be quick in posting the scriptures. Haggai, chapter 2, verse 9. En Jean chapitre 2, du verset 9. We read Haggai chapter 2, verset 9, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I say we read Haggai chapter 2, verset 9, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. God bless you. The glory of this later, later temple shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace, say the Lord of hosts. Acclamé pour cette écriture. Let us clap on for this We can have a seat. Okay. Nous ajoutons une autre écriture. We are adding another scripture. Agé chapitre 1. Haggai chapter 1. Le verset 7 à 8. Haggai chapter 1, verse 5. 7 and 7 to 8. Haggai chapter 1, verse 7 to 8. You read in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Verse 8. Go up to the mountains and bring wood and build the temple that I may take pleasure in it and be glorified, says the Lord. Amen. Ok. Par la grâce de Dieu, by the grace of the Lord, ce soir nous allons parler sur la dernière maison. Uh, this evening we are going to, to speak of uh, the later house. Ok. Avant de toucher ce message si précieux, before we touch this message, which precious message, nous disons d'abord quelque chose. Oh, like to say something first. Vous savez, dans le livre de Job, chapitre 42, il est dans cette sèche. Job, chapitre 42, verse, ouais, ouais. verse 5. Il y a deux verbes qui marchent ensemble. There are two verbs which move together. Il y a d'abord le verbe entendre. There is the first verb which is to hear. Et le verbe voir. And the verb is to see. Ces deux verbes marchent ensemble. Those two words move together. Regardons ce que Job est en train de dire. Look at what Job is saying. Mon oreille a entendu parler de toi. My, he, my ears has heard about, about you. Il devait d'abord entendre. Hear that one. Should I first of all hear. Et maintenant. And now. Mon œil t'a vu. My eye has seen you. Yes. Ça dit. Tu me. Il devait pas seulement se limiter à entendre. Il not only stop by hearing, mais aussi il devait voir. But also, je l'ai dit. Raison pour laquelle ce soir, the reason why this evening, ma prière, my prayer, 
Et que tu te limites pas seulement à entendre. Is that you should not stop only in hearing. Mais que le Seigneur te fasse grâce de voir. But may the Lord do you favor to see as well. Le Seigneur te fasse grâce de parler. May the Lord that how that you favor to touch it. Car les deux verbes marchent ensemble. Because that two words move together. Je vais vous donner un petit témoignage. I'm going to give you a little testimony. J'étais en voyage missionnaire en Afrique du Sud. I was one day in a missionary trip in South Africa. Et j'ai été invité dans une réunion où s'assemblaient les blancs. And I was invited in a gathering where there were only white people. Et c'est là où je devais intervenir. And uh, they invited me to speak there. Premièrement, ce sont eux qui ont proposé le thème. First of all, they are the one who made the choice of the topic. Ils m'ont dit, Teacher Alain, nous voulons que tu nous parles de l'Union européenne dans la Bible. They said, Teacher Alain, we want you to speak to us about the European Union in the Bible. Ou tu nous parles des Nations Unies dans la Bible. Or speak about the United Nations that from the Scripture. Par là, j'ai compris. Then I understood that. Il y a d'autres prédications. Si tu prends l'avion à l'aéroport, ces enseignements restent à l'aéroport. Then I understood that there are some preaching. Once you just take a plane from the airport, those preaching stops there. Alors ils voulaient qu'on leur parle sur les Nations Unies. And they wanted to hear about United Nations. From the scriptures, et nous lisons réellement dans les Écritures, il y a les Nations Unies. And we really say that in the Scripture they speak of United Nations. Vous voyez parce que si vous prenez Genèse chapitre 11, you know when you 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 take Genesis chapter 11, premièrement les hommes devaient se rassembler. First of all, people were to gather together. Avant de lever une tour. Before to lift up a tower. Ça veut dire les hommes qui devaient se rassembler. People who are gathering together. C'est ça la pensée des nations. That is the thought of United Nations. Ça veut dire si vous remarquez les hommes en train de se rassembler dans les nations. Was that seeing people gathering together in human covenant or men's covenant? Il y a une tour qui veut être élevée. That means there is a tower is about to be raised. Bien le Seigneur Jésus Christ vous bénisse. Mais dans le Dieu vous fasse blessure. Qu'est-ce que je vous te dis là? What do I want to say then? Jésus a parlé d'une parabole. Jesus spoke of a parable. Il a dit dans le livre de Matthieu chapitre 13. C'est dans Matthieu chapitre 13. Il parlait sur l'ivraie. He was speaking about the wheat. Et sur le blé. And about the 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 wheat. On devait prendre le blé et le mettre dans les greniers. And we had to take the wheat to put it in the basket. Mais avant de prendre le blé et le mettre dans les greniers, but before they put the wheat into the basket, il faut qu'on prenne d'abord les livrets. They had to first of all to take the wheat. On les lit d'abord en gerbe. They had first of all to gather them to. And then you have to ask Jesus Christ, what does it mean? Jesus will tell you that the weeds mean weeds are the children, the sons of this world. And what does what does weed mean? Le blé, ce sont les fils du royaume. The wheat means the sons of the kingdom of God. C'est-à-dire avant que les fils du royaume soient mis dans les greniers, before the children of the kingdom be put into the basket, il faut d'abord que l'ivraie soit lié. First of all, they have to tie together the wheat. L'ivraie qui est liée, c'est ça les alliances humaines. The wheat with the tie together that is men's covenant. Les nations unies aussi sont là. A United Nations also is there. Et si vous remarquez, les nations en train de se rassembler. And when you start seeing nations coming up together, les alliances humaines, in their men's covenant, vous comprenez que Dieu veut prendre le blé et le mettre dans le greniers. You just understand that God want to take the wheat to put them in the basket. Et les blés qui seront mis dans les greniers. And the wheat which are going to be put in the basket. Ça parle des enfants de Dieu qui seront enlevés dans le ciel. Speaks of the children of God who are going to be caught up in the rapture in heaven. Mais les grands signes. 
By the great sign, il faut d'abord que les nations se rassemblent. First of all, nations have to come together. Les nations unies. The United Nations is a great sign for the coming of the Lord. Que le Seigneur Jésus Christ vous bénisse. May the Lord bless you. Mais dans cette assemblée-là, in that congregation, il y avait des gens qui sont venus malades. There were people who were sick. Il y avait même une femme blanche qui était venue qui était athée. There was even a white woman who was an atheist. C'était pour elle la première fois d'écouter l'évangile. It was for her the first time to hear the gospel. Mais regardons, je n'ai même pas fait mention de leurs problèmes dans l'enseignement. No, I did not even mention their problem in the teaching. Parce que eux, ils m'ont proposé le thème par les nous des Nations Unies. Because they proposed me a topic speak about United Nations. Et je parlais des Nations Unies. And I was speaking about the United Nations. Je n'ai pas fait mention de I did not mention their problem, their difficulty. Mais à la fin, il y avait un blanc qui était malade. Voilà. At the end, there was a man who was sick there. Qui lui dit que je suis guéri. And stood up and said, that "I am healed." Même si on n'a pas fait mention de son problème, even though they didn't mention his problem, de sa maladie, his sickness. Mais l'enseignement, la prédication, la vie, la preaching, the teaching has healed him. Et cette femme là qui était athée. That woman was an effie who would not believe in the existence of God. At the end, she said, "When you are teaching, I got a vision." When I was teaching, I got a vision. 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 When Even if you don't mention your problem, de vos difficultés, your difficulties. Si on vous connaît plus que moi, God knows you better than I. Il sonde le cœur et il sonde le cœur. He's searching the heart, he's searching the inner part. Il est capable de faire quelque chose dans ta vie. He's able to do something great in your life. This year. Vous avez Job été malade. Your Job was sick. Mais lorsque Dieu se présenta devant Job comme prédicateur. God came to Job as a preacher. He n'a pas fait mention de la maladie de Job dans sa prédication. He did not mention the sickness of Job in his preaching. Tu as parlé des crocodiles. God was speaking of the crocodile. Il parlait des hippopotames. He was speaking of the hippopotamus. Il parlait des aigles. He was speaking of the eagle. Mais à la fin, Job dira. But at the end, Job said, "Je suis qui? I am him." Que le Seigneur Jésus Christ vous bénisse. Et le Seigneur Jésus Christ vous bénisse. Even though we are not going to mention your problems, even though we don't mention your difficulties, the Lord shall heal. The Lord shall take care of you. May the Lord Jesus bless you. Let us pray. 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 Hier l'introduction était bonne. Yesterday the introduction was so good. Parce qu'on nous a précisé. Because they gave us the precision. La maison dont il est question là. The house which is about. C'était la maison de Dieu et non la maison des noms. Is the house of God, not the house of man. Et aujourd'hui par la grâce de Dieu. And today by the grace of God. On va ajouter aussi quelque chose sur le thème qui nous a été donné. We are going to add something on the topic which has been given. On ne peut jamais parler de la seconde maison ou de la dernière maison. We cannot speak of the second house or the latter house. Si il n'y a pas la première maison. If there is not the first one first. C'est pourquoi nous disons ceci. This is why we say this. Nous allons placer selon les Écritures. We are going to align according to the Scripture. La première maison dont il était question. The first house which was about, and the second maison aussi. In the second house as well. Regardons l'écriture dit ceci. The scripture says this. La gloire de la seconde maison. The glory of the latter house sera plus grande que celle de la première maison. Shall be greater than of the former house. Mais ensemble, fouillons les écritures. And together, let us search in the scripture. Parce que lorsqu'on parle de la gloire, because when they are speaking of the glory, la gloire. La réalité, c'était le Shekinah, la gloire qui glorie la 
actually was that cloud, the smoke which was coming down in the house. Then let us compare la maison et la seconde maison. The, the, the first house and the second house la maison là où la gloire était descendue. where the glory came in. Et après nous allons comprendre. Then we are going to understand. En réalité, la dernière maison dont parlait les Écritures, les Écritures parlaient de quoi Actually, the second house the scripture is speaking about, what was it exactly? May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Regardons, la première maison, c'était la maison construite par Salomon. The first house was the house built by Solomon. Là, si vous allez même dans deux chroniques, chapitre 7, deux chroniques, chapitre 8, 6, vous allez voir ça. If you read the second chronicle, chapter 7 or chapter 8, you'll see. Vous savez, lorsque cette maison-là, le temple a été construit, that, when that house, the temple was built, à la fin de la construction de cette maison, at the end of that construction, the building, le temple construit par Salomon, that temple built by Solomon, à la fin de la construction de cette maison, at the end of the construction, c'est cette maison là qui était la première that was the first house il y avait la gloire de Shekinah qui there was a glory the Shekinah which came upon it là si vous prenez des chroniques chapitre 5 vous allez voir ça if you get second chronicle chapter 5 you'll see it il y avait la nuée qui était descendue sur there cette maison there was a cloud which came upon that house sur la première maison il y avait une nuée qui était upon the first house a cloud came vous savez si vous prenez Esaïe chapitre 60 if you take Isaiah chapter 6 le verset 8, verse 8 la nuée est comparable aussi à la colombe the cloud is compared also to the dove ça veut dire lorsque l'écriture parle de la nuée when the scripture speaks of the cloud dans Esaïe chapitre 60 le verset 8 Isaiah chapter 60 verse 8 la nuée parle aussi de la colombe the cloud speaks also of the dove c'est pourquoi vous allez remarquer ce jour là this is why you'll see that dans le livre de Matthieu chapitre 3 le verset 16 à 17 lorsque Jésus Christ était sorti des eaux il y avait une colombe qui était descendue en réalité cette colombe là qui était descendue sur Jésus la truth is that that Dove came upon him. Selon Esaïe chapitre 60, le verset 8. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 8. C'était la nuée qui était descendue sur lui. That was the cloud which came upon him. Pour accomplir tout simplement l'Écriture. To fulfill the Scripture. Dans le temple construit par Salomon. The temple which was built by Solomon. C'était l'ombre. It was just the shadow. Mais le véritable. But the true temple. C'était le corps de Jésus. Was the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, où la nuée qui était la colombe. Était descendu sur Jésus-Christ, sur ce corps-là, upon that body. C'était tout simplement l'accomplissement de cette écriture. That was the fulfillment of that scripture. Pour dire tout simplement, tell you that, que Jésus aussi c'est la première maison. Jesus Christ also is the first house. Parce que de la même manière la nuée était descendue sur Jésus. Because in the same way the cloud, the cloud came upon Jesus. Sur la première the same way the cloud came upon the first house. La colombe aussi qui est la nuée était descendue aussi sur Jésus. The, the dove also is a cloud, represent a cloud, came upon Jesus Christ. Qu'est-ce qu'encore nous voulons dire? What do you want to say? Vous savez, là on avait construit cette maison. -là. Where they built that house? Dans 1 Chronique chapitre 21. In 1 Chronique chapter 21. Vous remarquerez un détail très important. You will notice some good details. À un certain moment, David avait fait le recensement. In one time, David did. Il a fait le recensement. Il a fait le recensement sans la volonté de Dieu. He did the census without the will of God. Et Dieu s'est irrité. And God was very angry. Il commençait à frapper le peuple. He started now punishing the people. On a vu l'ange suspendu dans le ciel. There is an angel in the air. Afin que le peuple hors du fourreau. With his sword out of the ground. C'était l'image de Dieu qui était en colère. That was the image of God who was angry. Mais qu'est-ce que David devait faire? Now what was David to do? Pour que l'ange puisse remettre son épée dans le ciel. For the angel to put to back the sword into the ground. Pour que Dieu s'apaise de sa colère. So that God, the wrath of 
God to be at peace. David went up on a mountain. That was the mountain, the, the Mount of Moesia. That's where they built that house. When he went up there, he has killed the beast, the animal. After giving the sacrifice, the blood was shed and God has forgiven. Forgive people where on the Mount of Moesia. Where God forgave people from. That's where they have built the temple. In other ways, it means that house was that house was built on the forgiveness. The first house was built on the forgiveness. Where God forgave people for. That's where they built the temple. This is why we are going to note that when Jesus was as a true house was built on the forgiveness. Jesus came with the message of the forgiveness. Que le Seigneur Jésus Christ vous bénisse. Mais il a dit Jésus va se lever. Pourquoi Jésus est venu avec le message du pardon? Why did Jesus first come with the message of forgiveness? That's where the house was built. That is wonderful. But let's look at again some important details. Ah, we are going to note to notice that in the time of Noah, because we spoke of the dove. La colombe, c'est la gloire de Shekinah. The dove that is the glory of Shekinah. That was the glory which came upon the first house. That glory came upon Jesus. We are in time of Noah. What do we notice in the time of Noah? Noah had two messengers which he sent. The first messenger was the heaven. Le deuxième messager c'était la colombe. The second messenger was the dove. Mais là, regardons lorsque Noé a envoyé la colombe pour la première fois. Now look at when Noah sent the dove for the first time. Partout il y avait des noms. Oui, oui, oui. In every place there was there was. Et lorsque la colombe est venue. And when the dove came. Pour la première fois la colombe n'avait pas de lieu où pouvait se faire. For the time the dove did not find a place where to put its feet. That was the image of the Holy Spirit which was just hovering upon water. In Genesis chapter 1, the scripture said the Spirit of the Lord was moving upon water. That is the sign of that. That was moving upon water. And he did not have a place where to rest. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Now look at this. Il, 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 il
one leaf, a ah, leaf of God, as a sign of testimony. Remember, God, you go pray that you find only one. Look at this one. You took the, the leaf of olive tree as a sign of witness. Such a follow-up is a positive olive tree, and that that doubt came upon olive tree. The image that the spirit is a positive Jesus. That is the image of the Holy Spirit which came upon Jesus Christ. May you go pray that you find only one. You have to get to take only a leaf. So that's why Jesus Christ said, "You know, see, this is what Jesus Christ said." Shall teach you everything. But the things which will teach you, you will get it from me. This is why the devil was to take only that leaf of the olive as a testimony of olive. And that to olive is the Lord Jesus Christ. But the doubt shall be set for the third time. Lord, the column is a shape for the third time. When the doubt is released for the third, the third time. At that time, the terre est déjà à Paris. At that time, the earth or the ground already appeared. Et là, la colombe est partie pour toujours. La colombe est partie pour toujours. The doubt went forever. He never came back. La colombe qui est la shape pour la troisième fois. The doubt which was set for the fourth time. C'est le jour de Pentecôte. It was the day of Pentecost. In the Acts of Apostles, chapter two, because in that time, already you can see the earth was appeared. And the earth which appeared, the ground appeared. That was the church of the Lord. And when the 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 devil came, and he went forever. That is a guarantee of your redemption. May the Lord Jesus bless you. You see all the things. You see all the things. You just see the first house. La première maison. The first house. Réellement, il y avait la gloire de Jésus qui était. Has really the glory of God which came upon. Mais là, regarde tout cette maison là. Oh, look at that house. Qui était la première maison? Was the first one. A été livrée aux nations. Was given to the nations. A été livrée aux Babyloniens. Was given to Babylonia. Parce que ce sont les Babyloniens qui ont détruit ces maisons. Because they are Babylonians who destroyed that house. Ce sont les Babyloniens qui ont détruit cette First house, which is the temple. The Babylonians, they are the impure. The Babylonians, they are unclean people. The image of Jesus Christ, the image of the Lord Jesus Christ, which was been given to the Roman. To confirm, to simply, to confirm, the Jesus Christ, the Jesus Christ, the first house, is in the first temple. The Babylonians, they were to be given to the Gentiles. The Babylonians, they were to be given to the Roman. Mais là, regardons après cela, c'est là où nous allons être là. Quand ils sont dans la house was destroyed, et Israël est allé en déportation dans la Babylone. And Israel went into deportation in Babylon. Et dans cette Babylonie là, autant qu'on verra, mais le peuple d'Israël était sorti. And in that Babylon, from that Babylon, when they reached the appointed time, they came out. Mais là, lorsque le peuple était sorti, when they came out from there, cette fois-ci, il les avait bâtir la seconde maison. This time, they had to build the second house. Là, si vous prenez le livre d'Esdras, chapitre 1, book of Esdras, le livre d'Esdras, chapitre 1, chapitre 3, Ezra chapter three. You will see what terror we are talking. When the people are released from Babylon, 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 when
au plan de saut. Nations or Gentiles are also compared to the great waters. Israël qui est allé dans la déportation à Babylone. which went into deportation in Babylon. C'est aussi l'image de la terre qui était sous le eau. It was also the image of that ground, the earth which was still under water. Maintenant qu'est-ce que vous allez remarquer? What are you going to notice? Lorsque Israël est entré dans la déportation. When Israel was into deportation. Dieu n'a pas laissé Israël. God never left them. Il a préparé un prophète. He prepared a prophet. C'était Ézéchiel qui devait suivre Israël dans la déportation. That was Ezekiel who was to go with Israel into deportation. Et nous disons ces nations là. And we say that that nation. C'est l'image des grands du sol. That those nations are the image of the great world. Israel is the image of the earth which was under water. Israel is the image of the earth which was under water. But God could not abandon Israel. But God could not abandon Israel. He needed Ezekiel to accompany Israel. He needed Ezekiel to accompany Israel under water. That's why when the earth was under water, that was from the book of Genesis chapter one. That's why when the earth was under water, that was from the book of Genesis chapter one. That's why when the earth was under water, that was from the book of Genesis chapter one. The first day of creation. Dieu va commencer à dire. God say. Que la lumière soit. Let light. La lumière du premier jour. The light of the first day. C'est différent avec la lumière du quatrième jour. Different from the light of the fourth day. La lumière du quatrième jour brille dans le ciel. The light of the fourth day shine from 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 the sky. Au premier jour il n'y avait pas encore de temps. On the first day there was not yet the firmament. Ah, the truth is that the 
Potiphar's house. Which fell down. God decided to make the second house. It speaks also of a man. May the Lord Jesus first bless you. Now let us look at the house which was the first house to be the first Adam. When God made that house God used a something. The first house was the material the material which God used was the soil. Because Adam was created by the dust of the earth. The earth was created by the dust of the earth. Adam was created by the dust of the earth. This is why we say that. The Lord, when He formed Adam, God, when He was making 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 Adam, God, when God knew it. Why do you say that one? In the book of Matthew chapter 7. In verse 24 of the church. They are speaking of the two houses. There is a house built on the sand. There is another house built on the stone. Then with the first house.
God speaks in many ways. We are in the book of Job chapter 1. There speaks of the children of Job. One day, the children of Job said, First of all, the father has to be stricken. Job has first of all to be stricken when he prays. Job a été frappé. Job was stricken. Job was struck for his house which fell down to be to be restored. He was a father. He was a, a man of honor. And uh, something unprecedented in his house. Now, at the end, he must be struck for his house to be restored. That means the house which is restored, the second house of Job, that's the second house. Et Dieu vous bénisse. Mm. Mais pour lui arriver, il faut d'abord que Job soit frappé. Il faut first of all Job to be struck. Le malheur est entré dans la maison de Dieu. The unpleasant enter into the house. Son fils Adam a été frappé. His son Adam has to be struck. Tous nous étions frappés en Adam. All of us were struck in Adam. Mais il faut que le père, but not needed the father. Dieu. God, he has to take off his venasse, come down here on earth, so that the house which was, which collapsed to be restored. That is the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. The true God who was humiliated, struck, so that the first house which is the first house which collapsed to be rebuilt and the rebuilt of Adam that is the second house Que le Seigneur Jésus Christ bless you 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 Qu'est-ce que je vous te dis là Why did I want to say again Qu'est-ce que je vous te dis Why did I want to say Je pense qu'on a encore 30 minutes. I think we still have a little 30 minutes. Je vous dis que c'est si. I wanted to say this. Vous savez, si vous allez dans le livre de Deutéro chapitre 4. You know why? If you, you go to the book of Second Kings chapter 4. Élisée, le prophète Élisée a donné l'enfant à une femme qui ne mettait pas au monde. That prophet Elisha. Il a donné l'enfant à une femme qui ne mettait pas au monde. A prophet Elisha gave a son to a woman who was not given, who was barren. Vous devez croire que Dieu donne les enfants. You should believe that God gives children. Même si vous n'avez pas les enfants, Dieu donne les enfants. Even though you don't have children, God gives children. Je me rappelle encore Rachel. Elle est allée chez Jacob. I remember Rachel when we went to Jacob. Elle a dit à Jacob, donne-moi les enfants, sinon je vais mourir. And he told Jacob, give me children, otherwise I will die. Par là, nous comprenons, 
There we understand that celui qui a le fils a la vie. He was a son, he has life. Parce que Rachel dit là, si je n'ai pas d'enfant, je vais être dit, if I don't have a son, I will die. Si tu as le fils, tu as la vie. If you have the son, you have the life. Le véritable fils, c'est Jésus-Christ. That two sons is the Lord Jesus Christ. Nous bénis au nom de Jésus-Christ. Let's say the name of the Lord Jesus. Regardons ce que Jacob va dire. Now look at what Jacob said. Suis-je à la place de Dieu pour te donner un enfant? Am I in the place? Am I God to give you a child? Ah, pardon, nous comprenons, nous comprenons que celui qui donne les enfants, c'est Dieu. Then we understand that He who gives children. Celui qui donne la vie, c'est Dieu. Who gives life is God. Là où tu es malade, Jésus est passé. Jesus is able to give you healing and life. Là où tu as des problèmes, Jésus est capable de guérir. Where you have problems, Jesus is is able to comfort you. Soyez bénis au nom de Jésus. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Et Élisée donna l'enfant à cette femme-là. Élisée gave the son to that barren woman, the Shunamite. Regardez, je voudrais exhorter quelqu'un. I wanted to exhort. Lorsque le Seigneur te donne quelque chose, when the Lord gives you something, et s'il y a des complications dans cette chose-là, if there are some complications that day, le Seigneur lui-même se levera pour te défendre. The Lord Himself shall stand and rise to defend you. Mais regardez ce qui s'est passé avec cet enfant-là. But look at what happened with that child. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? What happened? L'enfant est allé dans les champs là où il y avait là où était son père. The son went in the field where there was his father. Le père était dans les champs. The father was in the field. Et directement il y avait le mot de tête. And then he got some headache. L'enfant s'est crié. Je m'en vais. Ça ne sert à rien. I have headache. I have headache. Vous voyez? Là où j'étais, il avait mal à la tête. You see? In the garden, in the field, he got headache. Dans le champ, il avait mal au tête. In the field, he Yeah, pain on head. And the father we had to sow the shame. And the father said, "Get out of the farm. Now we are the men. Go where there is your mother." Sa mama était hors. And the mother was out of the field. Le père était dans le champ. The father was in the field. La mama était hors. But the mother was out of the field. Elle s'était hors du champ. And it was out of the field. Entre les mains, les genoux de sa mère. Oh, on the knee. Of the mother, que l'enfant était mort. That the child died. Maintenant pour ressusciter cet enfant là. Now to bring back life to that child. Ce n'est pas Élisée qui est venu le premier. It was not Elisha who came first. Il a envoyé d'abord son serviteur. He sent first of all his servant. Avec les bâtons. With a staff. Avant que le serviteur ne vienne. But when the servant reached there. Il a prié pour He prayed for the child to resurrect. Nothing happened. But look at something which is very important. When the servant said by Elisha came, he left the door open. He did not close the door. It means if you leave the door open, that means another person can come here. Then Elisha came. He himself, the father. Lorsque le père est venu, when the father came, il a pris l'enfant. He just took the child. Quand on se fait un petit enfant, si tu as un petit enfant, il s'est imposé sa main. Et Elisha put his mouth on the mouth of the child. Il a posé ses mains dans le ventre. Put for the hand on the hand of the child. Son corps est devenu comme le corps de l'enfant. That means the body of Elisha became like the body of the child. C'était l'enfant. Just to resurrect the child. Il faut que Elisha devienne comme l'enfant. Yeah. 
speak of Adam and when the Bible says came back, went back to the dust. And there Adam was Of building, and you rebuild it in three days. Concernant la construction, c'est le thème 
about construction that was not a problem. Because they knew Jesus was building on the But now we will ask ourselves our question. How God who can leave heaven come here on earth? He only chose the work of building houses. Why? God leave eternity. Coming on earth, John's to become a builder. May the Lord Jesus Christ be blessed. And we say this if today we have unfinished houses, we need to bring Jesus to come and build for us. We say, not at all. If Jesus was building houses, it was a prophetic sign. Le même Dieu qui avait construit la première maison, because the same God who built the first house, c'est le même Dieu aussi lorsqu'il était venu sur la terre, is the same one also when he came on earth. Il a opté le travail de construire la maison. He chose the work of building houses. C'est pour nous montrer tout simplement, just to show us that. Si moi je suis je construis la maison, if I Jesus build the house, je suis c'est Jésus là qui avait construit la première maison. I am the same Jesus who built the first house. Ça dit c'est lui qui a créé Adam, c'est moi Jésus. He who made who created Adam. This is why he chose the work of building houses. But today, the maison dont Jesus construit, the house which Jesus is building, they are no longer the physical house. But Jesus built our body. Where you are sick, the Holy Spirit. Where you have problems, Jesus Christ is able to heal. Is the builder of houses. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Now the second house. We should see first of all a man carrying wood. That is a great sign. The person who carries the wood. The man who carries wood is that man who has to build the second house. This is why we saw Jesus was that day. Carrying the wood, the cross. He was to fulfill a God. I'm giving again another speech. Because we are having to stop. We are in the book of 2nd Chronicles chapter 6. We are going to see the sons of the prophets. They needed also to build a house. What did they do? Ils ont invité Élisée, accompagne-nous aujourd'hui. I did Elisha, they said, accompagne us to Elisha. Nous allons couper les bois. We shall cut wood. Et construire la maison. And build a house. Ça veut dire, si vous voyez un fils des prophètes, when if you see a son of the prophets, portez les bois. Carrying the wood. Comprenez que c'est celui-là qui construit la maison. Just understand that he also he built the house. Mais lorsqu'ils sont arrivés là, alors, when they reach there in the river, ils coupaient les bois. As they were cutting the trees and getting some wood, le fer était tombé sous l'eau. Ah, their axe, their axe fall down into the water. Directement les fils des prophètes criaient à Élisée. Then the son of the prophet shouted to Elisha. Ce qui est important que Élisée soit là. Ah, it was, that means it was important Elisha to come back. Si Even if you lose something, si Elisa est là, if Elisha is there, tu ce que tu you as will find what you have lost. Alors, Elisa était là présent. Mais Elisha was there. Le fils de a crié à Elisa. Then the son of the prophet shouted to Elisha. Le Elisa, est le Seigneur Jésus. That's who Elisha is the Lord Jesus Christ. Il est présent, when he is there present, si tu as perdu quelque chose, if you have lost something, don't shout. Tu dois prier dans la prière. Tu dois crier, tu chantes, tu pries. Et le fils des prophètes a prié avec une précision. Et le son de la prophète prie avec une précision. Il a prié avec une précision. Il a monté même les liens. Il a 
Lorsque tu pries, tu dois prier avec le précision. Lorsque tu pries, tu dois prier avec le précision. Pray, you have to pray with precision. Précise à Dieu ton problème. You have to precise to the Lord your problem. Et qu'est-ce que Élisée a fait? What did Elisha do? Il a coupé un bois qui était tout près là-bas. Ah, he just cut a wood, uh, uh, a tree which was there. Et il a plongé ce bois là dans le eaux. He got a stick and uh, put it in the water. Lorsque ce bois est allé sous les eaux, when that stick went into the water, il a pris le le fils des prophètes qui perd le fer ici ah, the son of the prophet who has lost his stool here c'est l'image aussi du premier Adam qui avait perdu l'autorité et le pouvoir that is the image of the first Adam who had lost authority and power le fer c'est la grande autorité Ah, because iron speak of the great authority. But they needed a tree to be cut. Le bois qui était coupé, c'est la mort de Jésus. The tree which was cut was the death of the Lord. Il est passé sous les eaux comme Jonas. But he entered into the water like Jonas. C'est pourquoi Jésus dira le seul miracle que je vous donnerai, c'est le miracle de Jonas. This is why Jesus Christ said that the only miracle which I'm going to give is the miracle of Jonas. Et le bois qui va sous les eaux. And that part of that tree which was into, into the water that Jesus Christ went into the grave. The and when it came out, the resurrection of Jesus. That is the resurrection of Jesus. We give us back what we had lost. With the resurrection of Jesus, Jesus gives us back what we have lost. If you had lost health, Jesus will give you back your health. If you need money, Jesus will give you money. If you are, you need water. The first Adam was not a choice. God is able to give you such a choice. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. But if you notice that if you see the Son of Man going up with the wall, just understand that the Son of Man who is going to build the house. This is why the Lord Jesus Christ was able to carry the wood because that is him was to build the house. And that house the second. Jesus said this to end them. Matthew 16 verse 8. 18. You are Peter. Et sur ce roc je bâtirai mon église. And upon that rock I will build my church. La seconde maison de Jésus. The second house of Jesus. Cette maison n'est pas bâtie avec le sable. That house is not built on the sand or earth. Parce que tu as tiré l'instruction. Because God has learned a lesson. Lorsqu'il a bâti la première maison. When he built the first house. There were Sanbala, there were Tobija, there were some Azamis, the Ammonites who were fighting that war. Mais 
maison qui est l'église de la maison 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 le souverain sacrificateur, the high priest, dans Levitique chapitre 8, in Leviticus chapter 8, le souverain sacrificateur portait deux ceintures. The high priest was carrying, was putting on two belts. Il portait une ceinture au rein. There was a belt here on the loins. C'était la ceinture de la tunique. That was uh, the belt of. Uh, Of the tunic, il portait l'autre ceinture sur la poitrine. And there was another belt on the chest. La ceinture qu'il portait sur la poitrine, the belt which was on the chest, c'était pour bien serrer les folds et les pieds qu'il portait sur la poitrine. It was to tighten, to tighten very well the breastplate on the chest. Parce que les vents pouvaient souffler dans les déserts. Because the wind could blow in wilderness. Et les pierres étaient bien avec la ceinture. C'est pourquoi lorsque Jésus-Christ est venu, This is not why the Lord Jesus Christ came. Oh, le véritable souverain sacrificateur, le true high priest, high priest of the Lord. Tout ce que tu m'as donné, Père. He said, All what you have given me, Father. Je n'ai perdu aucun. I did not lose any. Pourquoi parce qu'ils sont fidèles sur ton Because they are so tightened on His. Même si le vent souffle, even though the wind blows. Si Jésus Christ te touche. If Jesus Christ touches you, you will never fall. Ma prière ce soir, my prayer tonight, marche de victoire en victoire. Walk into victory, de gloire en gloire. Glory to glory, de bénédiction en bénédiction. Blessing to blessing, amen. Et le Seigneur Jésus qui se fasse des merveilles dans ta vie. Jesus Christ does wonders in your life. Il accomplit les désirs de ton cœur. Let him fulfill the desire of your heart. Et maintenant nous allons nous lever pour la prière. Let us stand for prayer. La seconde maison, c'est une maison qui est sur la house. La house. Même si le vent souffle, even though the wind blows, cette maison ne tombera jamais. That house shall never collapse. Je te dis ce soir, même si le vent se lève, you tonight, even if the demons start, ils ne peuvent plus jamais. We, they will never overcome. Parce que le Seigneur est avec toi. Because the Lord is with us. Il ne tombera jamais. Le plan du malin n'aura pas de pouvoir sur la terre. The enemy shall not have power. Il y a l'image de la seconde maison. The image of the second house. Une maison qui est solide. In house which is strong. Une maison qui est appelée à vaincre. In house which is called to overcome. Dieu est appelé pour vaincre. God has called you to overcome. Yes. As we are very focused, we concentrate. They are going to lead us into prayer.